Hello crafters. It's not real hot today, but it's definitely humid. Conflicting projects that need to be done. Um, I'm going to start out uh, showing you, you know, we, we talk about how we're a make do and anybody can and do it the best you can video. So I'm going to show you a couple of things here that have to do with that. As you can see, and let me stick my foot out here for some reference. The yard has gotten tall. This happened, I started out mowing the other day and I got the side yard mowed and started on this front yard and the mower quit on me. Well, I thought maybe I was out of gas. I come up and it was real low. Well, it wouldn't start. And it was rainy for the next few days and I couldn't work on it. So I brought it out here and started working on it. Pulled off the air filter. Actually, when I went to pull off the backing bolt, I noticed that the carburetor was loose. As you can see, the head is broken off of one of the mounting bolts. So I pulled the carburetor on off. Thought maybe we could just fix the carburetor. Then I found this piece, and it's broke right here, which is supposed to attach right there on the carburetor. And I also doubt it's supposed to be loose like that. I have not pulled this shroud off to see what's going on. And then when I pulled out the carburetor, as you can see, the end of this tube, which I'm assuming goes back to the piston, sends gas back to the piston, is all broken off and jagged. And then, as I was looking, and I don't know if this will show up on video, yeah. There's a crack in the deck where one of the mounting bolts goes. And I thought, oh my gosh. And I got to give a shout out to our son Travis. I don't know if he'll even watch this. I don't know if he watches mom and dad's videos. Um, he came through for us. And we went and got this Toro. It's a 22 inch. It's got the Honda engine on it. I did some kind of fast and dirty research learned that these get pretty good ratings it's self-propelled uh variable speed it can bag or shoot or mulch one of those three in ones so that's the first thing we need to mow or i need to mow here and i'll tell you about this footage while i walk down here by the quail hutch these are our hatching hatchling quail most of them are bound for uh freezer camp we have my wife figured up we've got over 80 birds in the house right now that we're brooding the quail which they're the jumbos which you've seen are adults here and we've got some cornish cross and we've got eight commercial broad-bested turkeys and it's all an idea of getting some meat in the freezer now the problem is sure you guys have all seen the lumber prices you know what things are like we really need to get at least the quail out the cornish cross are going to go out next week but we've already got the tractor the chicken tractor i showed you earlier built for them hopefully before long we can finish the other chicken tractor because that's where the uh, turkeys are going to live until we process them we can't build a proper hutch like we would like to at the moment take this is our last rabbit cage which we've shown you before you're going to take these rabbit feeders out and patch up those holes with some scrap hardware cloth you're going to fix this door and then i'm going to try mounting it to these three pallets